okay so this will be our demo video so we install the previous script here and then you just basically import numpy and everything else and this is just a set of lightning and now we come to here which is uh, mount the google drive so we need to count mount the google drive to your own drive only so you can read the data and now we go to eda analysis so the first one is data set overview which is just basically counting all the numbers and then making it to what you uh, find okay so now uh, just print the data shape here which is they found a 395 row and 33 column and now printing the first five head here to see the data representation and this is just basic info of the data and this is a describe of the data which will count count mean standard deviation mean and so on and this is the for the category group which have count unique top and frequency and now this is for calculating the non-unique for me and for this it is just a histogram of numerical value and for this this is just a count plot for each of the uh, categorical value and this is the correlation matrix for the numerical value and this is the correlation between the g1 g2 and g3 and this is the uh, categorical value for G, uh, the all the category data which using box plot and this is the box plot analysis for outliers and this is the summary of EDA finding and now we come to handling missing data and we found that there's no missing value it was found in the data set so we do the outlier removal directly which we found out that uh, we have a lot of outlier and we remove it and now we encode the categorical value into integer value and we did that using this kind of code um, now we address the multiple linearity we found out that uh, the data has a high correlation on g1 g2 g3 and uh, we use this to test the split and everything one whole encoder and pattern optimization to use the machine learning algorithm later on right just right here and then we use the linear regression decision tree regression and random forest regression and after that we will perform an analysis and this is the all the analysis this is the regression with g1 and g2 this is regression without g1 and g2 down here regression without g1 here and regression without g2 right here so that's it from our data set thank you